my friends. I have done quite a few what not to buy type of videos recently, which is genuinely because I have been kind of uninspired by most new launches, but that doesn't mean that there's nothing out there that I appreciate the look of. So today we're going to be discussing some new Hermes launches that I feel like would be a great addition to your spring summer collection, whether you are a seasoned Hermes collector or you're brand new to the brand and you're just about to jumpstart your Hermes journey, I do think that any one of these pieces would add quite a bit of value to your collection. So without further ado, if you'd like to discuss the Hermes pieces that I think are worth your hard-earned money, then make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet, and keep on watching. So I think we should start with ready to wear just because I don't think it's a matte that is on a lot of people's minds, which I can completely understand. I feel like Hermes is ready to wear is kind of an odd one. Their pieces are either not the most eye-catching or they're eye-catching, but not for the right reasons because they do some pretty quirky and kind of weird stuff that is just simply not the most flattering. But I think that their quality is just outstanding. If you find the right pieces, the pieces that are worth investing in, they are going to be things that will last a lifetime. Hermes's quality, as I mentioned, is just exceptional, which you would expect for the price. So my rule of thumb when it comes to buying ready-to-wear pieces going into spring summer is that you should look at two things. You should look at their knits and their silks. Obviously they do some incredible shirts, they do some beautifully tailored pants and shorts, but I don't think those are unique enough to justify the price. I think you can find really comparable pieces from other brands for a lot less money that will add a similar look and feel to your collection. But when it comes to their silk pieces and their summer knits, they are just top notch. And when we're talking about buying things for full winter, I would definitely say that looking at their coats is worth considering, but that's going to be a completely different price range. And Hermes's full winter collection has actually just started dropping. So I'm going to give you recommendations from that new collection because spring summer is kind of behind us, but it doesn't mean you cannot wear any of the pieces that I recommend from their full winter collection. So the two things that I picked that I think are very much worth looking into, regardless of how long you've been buying Hermes. The first one is their short sleeve cashmere sweater, which I think would be just the perfect piece to have in your collection for a chilly summer night. And obviously you can wear this in the summer. I mean, I guess it depends on where you live, but you could certainly make it work in the summer. And it's certainly something that you can also bring into fall winter. It is a really sweet, quite petite sweater. Something that you have to keep in mind when it comes to Hermes's knitwear is that if you're going to be buying things from their women's line, their things are usually really cropped and they run really really small and tight so just like everything else this sweater is going to run really small it's going to be really cropped and really petite so it's something that you should keep in mind when it comes to choosing the right size I wouldn't recommend that you buy it online I would certainly say to go into store try it on and get the whole experience for the kind of prices that RMS charges for their cashmere pieces, which yes, they are ridiculously expensive. Do you have to spend this kind of money for good quality cashmere? No, you do not. But one thing that I do have to say is that I have cashmere pieces, several cashmere pieces from Hermes that I've had for years. And trust me, I own cashmere pieces from most luxury brands out there, but Hermes's cashmere is really the only one that I never had any issues with any sort of peeling or fraying or sort of fluffing. So their cashmere really is, might be the most beautiful cashmere out there. Yes, it's still ridiculously expensive, but you do get some really beautiful cuts and little details. So for example, this sweater features a tiny little charm on the hem and also this really interesting pattern that is actually woven into the fabric. And as I mentioned, the two sort of pieces or two sort of fabrics that I would consider looking into from Hermes are their knits, so their cashmere and their silk creations. So of course I have a silk recommendation for you too, which what's hard about Hermes silk is even though it's beautiful and their silk scarves and their silk creations are some of the most beautiful art-like pieces out there, they can be a lot, they can be overwhelming when you have all this print on a dress and all these colors and all these details and motifs. So I would be careful when it comes to buying silk dresses and silk shirts because they can really easily overwhelm you. But there are always a couple each season that I really love the look of. And this is the one that I would love to put on your radar, which is actually a dress. And the print I think 
suits it quite well. Now, it is going to be an acquired taste. It is quite a mature look. You can try to dress it down with a pair of orans or with a pair of sandals, but it is going to be quite a formal look, which I completely understand is not going to be everyone's cup of tea. But if you appreciate that sort of conservative, more refined aesthetic, this is something that I think you will be completely in love with. And if you're wondering, I am going to give you recommendations both for men and women, but the full winter collection for men hasn't officially launched yet. And I really don't love any one of their pieces from their spring summer collection. So I didn't want to recommend you something just for the sake of it. But if you're trying to buy something from the men's line from Hermes, do check out their swimming trunks and their swimming shorts because those I love. I think they do them every single season. I think it's called the Phantom Shorts, which look like a solid color it, they just look like a pair of regular swimming trunks but as soon as they get wet they actually you could actually reveal this really cool sort of age pattern which is quite interesting they do them every single season in a few different colors but I actually think that Hermes' swimwear used to be a lot better for men. They used to do some really cool, formal, almost tailored swimming shorts, whereas now they definitely feel a lot more casual. And I would personally much rather go to Laura Piana for swimming shorts over Hermes at this point. But I do have to say that their phantom pieces are really quite fun. It kind of takes you back to being a child and doing all these science experiments because as soon as you get the shorts wet, as I mentioned, they reveal this really cool age pattern. But moving on to shoes, I do have to highlight these shoes for you, which I'm not sure if they're new for fall winter, but if you can still find them for spring summer, they would be a great piece to have, which the style itself isn't anything new. It's going to be the Paris loafers, which they did. I actually think that they did these for spring summer 2022 in this beautiful light rose petal pink but what made it more special is that the edges were actually black and then the h on top was palladium and i thought that because the shoes were quite light the palladium hardware blended quite nicely into the shoes it didn't feel or look overly loud and i love this really graphic detail of the edges being painted in black so if you can still find these i think this would be a great one to have i do have the paris loafers which i have worn maybe once or twice just because i wear so many skinny pants and skinny jeans i don't tend to go for loafers but of course they do them both for men and women, but the rose petal pink was technically in their women's line. And then another pair of loafers, which I actually saw someone wearing last week and I was completely blown away by them, which was surprising because I'm usually not the biggest fan of Kelly Buck was being featured on shoes, but I thought this worked incredibly well, which is actually their Destin loafers, which again is nothing new, but they brought them out in this really cool canvas almost tweed looking finish for spring summer so if you are looking for a pair of loafers i love the destin loafers but really only in this canvas almost tweed looking finish with the edges being frayed out especially if you love the look of the fray fray birkin but it wasn't something that you could get your hands on this is a really similar look and feel and i actually think that it makes the shoes look a lot more summery a lot lighter and also a lot more interesting so that could be something interesting to look into and then for men a recommendation that i have for you is the free sneakers which i think they introduced last season they do them both for men and women and they are a really cool look at first i wasn't really sure how to feel about them because you know what they remind me of do you remember those alexander mcqueen shoes that everyone had at one point they have kind of a similar shape to them because they do have it's not really a full-on wedge but they do have this built-in sort of elevation in the heels so they do feature this really thick chunky sole that isn't quite straight but if you like a solid pair of shoes something that perhaps make you look a little bit taller this one would be a great one to look into they now do them in a ton of different prints and colors but i would of course go for the classic white if you can find them and then if you're looking for something even more summery the trip espadrilles that i bought last season from hermes of course they're doing them again for the current season in a ton of new different finishes and colors but one thing you have to know about those espadrilles is that you have to try them in person because they're handmade in Spain and the sizes really vary. So you could be 
one size in one finish and one leather and a completely different size in another. So if you're going to get them, make sure that you either order a couple of them so you can try the different sizes in the different leathers or you take the time to go to your local boutique to be able to try them on because the sizes are kind of all over the place. I tried the suede version and I was a completely different size in those than I was in the pebbled leather version which is the one that I ended up picking up and then they also do them in a smooth leather so you have plenty of options I know it's quite confusing but just go into your local boutique and try on as many options as you possibly can to find the perfect fit for you shall we do SLGs next I think let's do that because this is going to be a quick one they have just introduced a new passport holder for the current season which is actually inspired by their RMS suitcases so if you bought one of their suitcases you're going to be delighted to hear that now you can also pick up a matching passport holder or at least a passport holder from the same collection. I personally wasn't a fan of their suitcases. If you'd like to hear why, let me know. I am thinking about doing a similar video to this, but on what not to buy for spring summer from Hermes and their suitcases would definitely be featured. But I actually quite like their passport holder, which is called the RMS passport holder. They have done several different passport holders over the years, but this I have to say I quite like it comes in ever color and ever grain in a ton of different shades and what makes it really special is that the clue de sable buckle is actually tone on tone so it is finished in a lacquer finish that matches the color of the passport holder perfectly it is a beautiful piece that you're going to have in your collection i mean forever and ever unless you tend to lose your passports in which case i would not recommend that you invest in this but it is a great one it is one of those things that is more it's more of a passport cover but if you prefer a passport sleeve, of course, Hermes has their tarmac passport holders, which is genuinely just a sleeve that you can sort of slide your passport into. I never really understood the concept of a passport sleeve, but the more I think about it, the more it makes sense because when you go through immigration, when they ask for your passport, they usually ask for you to take your passport out of its case anyway. So having the tarmac case might make it easier because you don't have to, you know, undo the whole thing every single time. You have to take it out from your case for you to use your passport anyway so just depending on what you prefer whether you prefer a passport cover or a passport sleeve Hermes does have some options for you and if you decide to opt for the tarmac it's certainly something that you could have monogrammed with your initials. I feel like belts really come into their own for spring summer because they are a great way to accessorize and dress up an outfit without putting on additional layers so you could definitely add a nice belt to your collection from Hermes the CDC belt has recently been reintroduced at a ridiculous price point but if you don't mind spending the money if you love making a statement if you're a belt person the CDC belt is one of the most iconic belts ever created and it's not something that you can only wear for spring summer it because it is quite a bold statement piece it's certainly something that you could also sort of bring into fall winter too so that is a great piece and then they're also doing the pop age belt which is one of my favorite belts in a new guilloche finish which is not really a guilloche finish. We have talked about the guilloche Birkins and Kelly's before because it is something that is slowly being reintroduced by Hermes, but it was a type of hardware that featured this almost, the pattern always reminded me of a golf ball. I'm not sure why that is, but it basically featured this almost quilting-like geometric pattern on the hardware, which made it quite scratch resistant. And now they're doing this hardware on several different things including the pop age belt but on the pop age belt it is not even remotely similar to the original Kyosh print it looks more like a micro midor pyramid take on the pop age belt which is interesting it does come in all three hardware finishes so palladium gold and rose gold it's interesting i would personally still stick to the original pop h line just because i like the subtle tone on tone finish but if you already have the pop h belt you love the design you love the look you love the width you love what it does for an outfit i think you'll be happy to hear that now they're doing it in a new fun more metallic finish in terms of jewelry i wouldn't really opt for any of their fashion jewelry pieces for spring summer just because i don't think that any one of their pieces are worth your money unless they're made of leather and leather jewelry pieces can be quite a lot 
in the heat so i would try to steer you in the direction of fine jewelry and the collection that i am really into for this current season is their ex libris collection which again is nothing new even though they are doing them in new finishes and new colors for the current season but i would certainly recommend picking up a pendant from the collection if it's something that you are drawn to i think the large and medium pendants would just add such a beautiful touch to the most simplistic outfit i think they would look incredible even over a swimsuit or a cover up to the beach but you could easily dress them up with a light shirt or a light blouse i think it is a collection that would work both for men and women i think it is just a beautiful quite bold statement collection without it being overboard or overdone and i think for the quality for the kind of statement that they will add to your collection they are also quite reasonably priced but one thing that i was reminded of just speaking of the beach and wearing something like this to the beach something that i'm always torn if i should mention or not is their beach towels just because i'm not Okay, I have to tell you guys this before I talk about beach towels, but you do have to take my recommendations with a grain of salt because I am not really a beachy person. Like the only time I would go to the beach is if I was staying at a resort that had a beach and then I would use the towels provided by the resort. I would never take my own towel. But if you are someone who would, Hermes's beach towels are really fun. They do really cool, quirky, playful prints every single season. And then they also have their more subtle lines. But if you are trying to add a piece of Hermes to your summer collection, their beach towels are certainly a way to go. But I just never understood the point of taking your towel to the beach, getting it wet, sandy and dirty, and then having to carry it back home in your suitcase. To me, it just never made sense. But I guess if you go to the beach more often, if you live near the beach, or if you go to the beach just regularly, not only when you're staying at a resort, it would make sense to invest in a nice beach towel from Hermes. And they certainly have some really fun and summery prints available for you. But their beach towels aren't the quirkiest thing that they do because you can definitely take it a step further if you love something whimsical, something really unique, eye-catching, a conversation starter. This piece I think you're going to love. It is one of my most favorite back charms that I ever bought and I so wish I had known that they're going to launch it in an exotic skin because I would have waited, but they're doing their birdie back charm in an exotic finish. So it features different leathers including alligator lizard and also some regular ms leathers but it is just the cutest funnest quirkiest kind of weird thing which i'm kind of obsessed with i don't think i'm going to buy the exotic version just because i already bought the same thing in regular leather but if i hadn't this is something that i would love to jump on because it is just the funnest cutest thing and to be really honest with you the price difference between the exotic version and the one made of regular leather really isn't that drastic so it's definitely something that is worth asking about and then the last piece that i wanted to put on your radar is actually a bag and it's a bag that you might have not heard of even though we talked about it briefly Oh my god, I want to say maybe a year ago, it's a piece that walked the wrong way and it's the so-called Maximor bag, which I am completely obsessed with. It's not something that I would personally buy for myself or I would personally be able to pull off. It is just a little bit small for me. But if you love a mini bag, but you would like to do it in a way that feels really unique and fresh, this would be a good way to do it. I love this 90s pencil case inspired shape, which we are seeing more and more of. We've seen Chanel do this a few times. Loewe is doing it with their bracelet bag, which I actually quite like, but of course leave it to RMS to take it to the next level and elevate it and make it look and feel like a million bucks because this bag, I mean, you can wear this with the most simplistic outfit and this will genuinely make you feel like you are on top of the world so the shape is quite simple but what makes this back stand out in my opinion is this beautiful jewel-like almost sculptural handle which of course it draws inspiration from the brand's equestrian heritage so it is a take on the horse bite but it is just so incredibly special and expensive looking and feeling and it also features a really thin adjustable shoulder strap in case you want to style it in a more casual way there is a shoulder strap that you can play around with but i think this is one of those bags that you can really easily take from day to night if you're going on a trip and you only want to carry one bag with you 
this one would be a great option. It's not overdone. It feels really fresh and unique. And I just have to say, I can only repeat myself, this bag looks like one of the most expensive pieces that I have ever seen. And the price is pretty reasonable for Hermes. I think it only comes in Swift and I think it is... I want to say it was 4,900 euros, which obviously is not cheap by any means, but for an Hermes bag and for what this piece will add to your collection and how often you would be able to take advantage of it, I think it is something that should very much be considered. And my friends, the comment section is open and waiting for you to share your current wishlist with us and your thoughts on my list of recommendations. Please let me know what you think about these pieces. Would you consider adding any one of these to your collection? Do you perhaps already own some of these pieces? In which case, I cannot wait to hear your insights and your personal experience. Please don't hold back and while you're down there, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so yet. I really appreciate you being here and watching and I hope to see you back here with a new video really, really soon.